Miss Dower here. Today we're going to do another problem with fractions. I hope you're not tired of them. It says, I have seven out of eight bags of treats. I give half of the bags away. How many do I have now? So remember, when we're doing our word problems, we have to visualize. So I'm imagining that I have almost a whole bag full of dog treats because seven is close to eight. So that tells me that it's almost one whole. Then I'm giving, so now I'm imagining separating them and I am giving half of them away. And I'm asking how many do I have now? So I know that I have my whole minus my part and I'm trying to figure out my other part. If we're estimating, we already said that seven out of eight is close to one whole. So one whole minus one half gives me one half. So my estimated answer is half. Now let's really solve it. When I look at these, I see a problem. My denominators are not the same. And in order to subtract it, the denominators have to be the same. So right now I'm gonna look at one half and I am going to change it so that it is out of eight equal parts instead of being out of two equal parts. The way to do this is to say that two times four equals eight and whatever you do to the denominator, you have to do to the numerator. So if I multiply times four, I have to multiply times four. Now I have four out of eight, so I can subtract now. Seven out of eight minus four out of eight gives me three out of, and then what's my denominator? It's still eight because it didn't change. It's still eight equal parts to make one whole. So now my answer is three out of eight. Is that pretty close to a half? How do you know? It's close to a half because I know that four out of eight is equal to a half. So three out of eight is pretty close. Now, is three out of eight more than a half or less than a half? It's less than one half. So I can tell that I have less than a half of the dog treats left. 